What is up, you guys? Chipotle on PSN here, coming to you on um one of my first uh kind of like series besides City of Tweak of the Day, and this is like one of the reasons I've been posting for the last few days because I've been working on one of these. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys a uh, custom zombie map. It's gonna be a new uh, like a uh, series called Making the Map, and this will be a new series. Uh, probably each episode will be about 10 minutes. My first three episodes are gonna be tutorials. First episode had to download, and the next two like had to do stuff inside of it, like make zombies and everything around it and doors. All the basic stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. This uh, this one will just be on um, the basics on how to um, you know you know uh, get all the stuff to m in install it. So uh, here we go. Okay, guys. So the first thing you guys will want to do is download the um, mod tools, which um, it will be uh, the download link will be in the description. And so w once you get to this page right here, you just want to um. Go down here and click here to download this file. You'll download it. It's about a one gigabyte download. So depending on how fast your download speed is, it could take a night or maybe an hour, 30 minutes if you have really good download speed. Took me about an hour, two hours. So yeah, you guys want to do that. There is no um, there's no viruses. I've I've scanned all the stuff with my Trend Micro um, Trend Micro uh, antivirus software. So it's all good. It's Cause I do not like that um people who like put up viruses. Cause that's just stupid and annoying. So yeah, um, after that you're gonna want to download the updates, which are also in the description. It'll say updates is 1.1, 1.2, 1.2.1, 1.3, 1 1.4. You want to download all those overall together. They probably be about 300 megabytes. They're not that. It's not too big. Ha uh, quarter of a gigabyte if you're lucky. So um, you want to download all those updates, and then you want to download a Nazi Zombie Tutorial V.2.0, which will also be in the scripture description and the script placer. It's a UGX script placer. You want to also down that. It's right here. That's um, uh, that's what mine is. So. So um, once you have all that, now I'm going to show you guys how to set it all up. So, here we go. Okay, so uh, first thing you want to do, if you have um, a crack zombie map like I do, or if you have the real thing, you're going to want to find like your zombie folder, like where all the information is. Like, um, So here we go, let me go look for it. Um, mine will be in my computer, that's where most people are. Some people, like if you got from Steam, will be in your app data, like close to your app data, it will be in like, your local instead of roaming. So yeah, you guys want to go look for that. Uh, mine's on my local disk. Program files 86. I highly suggest making a backup of this in case you mess it up. So my backup right over here on my desktop, right there. So you'll make a backup of it. And here's mine. If you get the cracked version, it's on my channel. If you guys want to know how to get it, this will come up. And then you want to go into your Nazi zombies, and that's where you want to extract your mod tools. So once you got that, I'm gonna open up my downloads, which is where my mod tools are. Go ahead and go right here. Scroll down. Then here are all the um, files right here. There's the um, mod tools. That's 1.1, 1.2, 1.2.1, 1.3, and 1.4. And then those are the mod tools itself. Once you open that up in your WinRAR or whatever um, extractor you have, I highly suggest WinRAR. It works the best for getting the job done. It reads all the files because it's quite a few files. And then once you that, you want to extract the whole thing into here. So there are all these files right here. Usually you don't have like three or four in here. You just want to extract it all into here. So as you can see, those are all the files. You just want to highlight them like this highlight them make sure they're all there highlight them all and then just drag them in to that and they'll extract it and everything and you want to overwrite everything so like if it comes up you copy and replace you want to copy and replace everything do that all that so once you have that done you should have all this in your um uh folder and then you want to go to your next um you want to go to your mod tools 1.1 which is the update so let me find mine you want to go down to the 1.1, which mine's right there. Open that up. Open up the folder. You do not want to copy the folder. You want to open up into the folder. See, there's the folder itself. You want to open up into it. Drag all that and copy it in. Then after that, you want to do that to the following: to 1.1, then 1.2, the 1.2.1, then 1.3, and 1.4. You have to do it in the right order. So make sure you guys do that to all your things. So let me say it again: it's 1.1, 1.2, 1.2.1, 1.3, .1, and 1.4. Okay. So once you have that done, you download this um, the um, uh, sniper pulse uh, the tutorial v2.0, and then once you downloaded that, it's right here. You want to undo that. You want to um, go to WinRAR. You want to uh, open it up in WinRAR. Then after that, you want to um, open it up right there. Drag it. I mean, uh, highlight it and drag it in like the mod tools. It's overall to the whole folder. Boom. Copy it, everything. Same with all the mod tools. You want to copy it all in, and then replace it. Replace whatever other files you have to replace. 
and then after that you want to download the UGX script placer so um, once you're done with that you can X out of everything um, you can you can put the UGX script placer inside of your thing inside of your um, where you uh, copy all your mod tools into that's fine that's what I did so it's just right there ready for you you want to just open up that it should open up like this and once you're here, you can either choose your blank map or the sniper bolts tutorial. Um, I was just having a sniper bolts tutorial on hand, like so, we'll make a, a map with the sniper bolts tutorial, cause the, those are good to um, go to and copy like the zombies over, so they're already all ready for you. So um, so yeah, once you have that, you want to um, I'm gonna go blank map since I don't need that. And so yeah, so once you have your map name, you want to do Nazi underscore zombie underscore whatever you want. So I'm just gonna do YouTube, cause that's gonna be um, that's gonna be um you know it's YouTube so I'm gonna type in YouTube for the display name which I'm not sure that doesn't really show up ever it's display name YouTube the Nazi zombie YouTube so here we go once you got that you want to make sure you, everything's chosen right you want to go options and use custom game path once you're here you want to select your root folder which um, go into your program files or wherever you saved it and then open up just click on the Call of Duty World of War and then, then that should be highlighted and I'm just gonna click OK that's good that's where I want everything right in there and it should go to a certain place that it should it'll make the file and everything so after that you want to click OK and that will come up and then it'll say it'll be created when this first came up I thought that errors had occurred but you should be good because it says no errors occurred and it says and the, all these files were replaced so I mean you just made the YouTube so once you're there OK and you should be good and then once you're here if you want to see that it's there go to map source and then there it is um right 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 right, right. should be right here and um it's such a YouTube it might not load it since I haven't Place it it's either in there or your mods. Oh crap! Did I just replace that? I put my mods in here. That might be bad. MP, MP materials, maps. No, I don't think I did. That's where I thought I did. I think I did. Where are my mods? They were just sitting there. I think I may have copied them into here. MP. I don't see him. So I guess I didn't. But my mod should be somewhere out here. You guys see it? Oh, there it is. Oh, my mods are out here. Yeah, there it is right there. So, oh, so, no. Um, I, I'm mistaken. Make your custom game map. Let me go and delete all these. Go and delete all these. So, I just want to delete all the things I just pretty much did. Crap. Control, zone source, map source, bin. Okay, you want to delete all the things that weren't there before. I did the custom game map. My bad, you guys. Um, don't do that. Go into your. You want to do it to your Nazi zombies. I did it to the wrong thing. Okay, so you want to, once again, go up to the um, uh, go to the UGX script placer, which is in your Nazi zombies. Right there, blank map, Nazi zombie. Make sure it's all lowercase, and then right here you can do YouTube. My bad. And then example, let's put YouTube again. Okay, and let's go to options, use custom game path, select your route. Look at this. Sorry about the mistake, you guys. Mm, I want recovery. Look at this. Program files 86. Crap. Program files on program files 86. And then Call of Duty World at War, right there. Nazi zombies. I did it to the wrong one. Okay, make sure it's in Nazi zombies. Okay. Okay, should make your map. Everything's good right there. Then there you go. You can see the mods just popped up again. Boom, there it is. I should have my other mods somewhere around here. Um, I guess they're not there anymore. Oh well. I don't really care about my other maps. They're kind of stupid. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna be starting fresh with you guys. I'll be making a whole map and then I'll be posting on zombie modding hopefully. So um, your mods should pop up once you have all this downloaded. All your mod tools in. You wanna head over to your bin. As you can see, all the all this stuff will pop up. And I highly suggest going through takes a while it's kind of annoying go to their properties making go to compatibility and make sure it's running on server windows xp service pack 3 and running as program administrator you want to do that to every single program as you can see all my programs have a little shield by it that means that um it's all good it's all running the um program administrator and um the service pack 3 so once you got all that done i mean it, you won't do that for some people mostly vista and windows 7 users but um some people you don't have to but i just did so um, once you got that done, you want to grab, open up the launcher, which is going to be your main starting point for everything, for the compiling the map, to building the map, to everything. So as you can see, it made the YouTube and the patch, which are the two things you need. 
and then once you got all of that, you want to go to you want to um, convert all the files. Files. So um, once you open it for the first time, you want to click up convert. This will convert all your files to IW, IWD files, which will allow you to um, compile them and use them in, in Radiant and everything. So when I click converter, that could take six minutes, ten minutes. I mean, however fast your computer is and everything, it usually takes about six minutes for me. Um, and then once you got that done, you want to um, open up Radiant. And once you open up this, it takes some time. Sometimes it doesn't even work. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't open after you convert or there's an error convert. Try reinstalling everything, and that, that's okay. Once you got this, it'll come up as a blank map. And you don't want that because some people just start building and they're, they're, not, they're not able to use it because it's blank. You want to open. You want to find wherever yours is. So we're going to open up my YouTube, which should be just a blank map also. So there it is. And there it is. The, um, it came with a preset that my sky is sky. There you go, and you just have blank everywhere. It's just a blank map. Here's a grid. It high, uh, I've already taken geometry, but it, it helps to know geometry. I mean, it's not really required because you can just learn it all, but geometry helps on the axes and everything. But it's kind of confusing in the beginning, and the controls suck. But, um, yeah. So let me show you the controls. So for me, right click. Once I right click on this little graph right here, I can right. My bad. I can right click, and that's how I look around. Like my neck moving around, looking around. And then, then to move, I use my scroller, so I can scroll in and out, and that's how I move. So let me go ahead and build something for you guys, cause um, so you guys can like figure out everything. Um, let me just uh, open up all, and there, you sh there should be all like all the presets you can use for like buildings and stuff. So you just go to textures and usage, and you can click all or anything you want. So I'm just gonna go to fl um, floor. I'm just gonna pick a random floor, like these little tiles right here. Then I'm gonna show you guys something really easy to do. You just wanna go ahead and go on your grid. Um, make sure you want to use a certain view. I'm just gonna try to use that view. So as you can see, it opens up. You can press Control Tab to view certain views. So boom, there you go. I'm gonna use Control Tab. So um, yeah, you guys. Um, I don't have to stop it because it's at, getting at 10 minutes. So just go check my other video. It will be in the description to see my next um on how to do everything. So yeah, I'll be right back with that. So yeah, and I'll be continuing all this. Probably be starting from the beginning. I'm going back to that. I'll be restarting from here. Uh, showing you all the controls and um, everything like that. So yeah, I'll be right back.